Okay, so <laughs> we have to take that to offset hole into consideration. So the bracket needs to come up like that, right? Here, if we, let's put this bolt in here just for reference. See, right there, it's, it's pretty much in the middle. So we got to bring the bracket up like that. That looks about right to me, roughly. So just bring the bracket all the way up. Right, and I, you can see that I put spacer here, and now it seems to be fairly straight with these, right? That look okay, so that should work. Now this is a bad idea, putting this bracket on at an angle like that, because all it's gonna do is stress these studs when you bolt it down. You're now not bolting it down flat. You're bolting it down at an angle, uh, and uh, you have to be careful about how tight. So let me tight. Remember, this is up top of the boosters here. Right? Okay. Now I'm not really going really tight. And also, I don't know if you guys notice this or not, there's a space here. These spacers that I have, these, these spacers that I have, the hole is uh, 5 16 but they're not going around. The, uh, the stud on the booster has a shoulder on it, and obviously they're not going on the shoulder. The shoulder is bigger than 5 16 I guess. So that's, uh, that's where that is. Let's take a look at that on the other side. Yeah, see, it has a little shoulder. Can you see that? Right there. So the, the, the stud doesn't go down around that, the spacer. The washers don't either. Yeah, okay, all right, whatever. Okay, so, right? Right, yeah, okay. Okay. Maybe a little more than snug, but... Okay, so look, see? See, it's not, yeah, it's about, yeah, it's right. It's about right. It's a little, it's a little high. I think if we were to push down on this, maybe probably wouldn't hurt it. Okay, let's just try that. Need a spacer under this one. Sorry, need a spacer, right? Underneath. Put a washer, okay, nut, just like the other side. Now what I'm doing is I'm eyeballing the space here. One and a half, one and a half. <clears throat> what is this side? One, a tenth, right? These are tenths. So there's a tenth. This is a little bit, yeah, tenth. One and a half. This is a little bit less than one and a half. This is a little bit more than one and a half. All right. 2.3. Three point four. Three point four. These are not even. These are not even. They're they're like this. Interesting.
Yeah. Slightly. Okay, so then this wasn't very tight, was it? No, I just snugged in, I guess. The spacers are tilting. <laughs> this is just a no-win. This is a no-win situation. You can't win at this. No matter what you do, is going to be wrong. All right. How does that look? Everything's straight now, right? Maybe just see if we could we could just kind of we could gently do that. We can't go like that or like this. But there's a there's center. There's center right there. So okay. Top top of the booster, bottom of the booster. So it's gonna go through the hole like that. See, this is near the bottom because the hole on the firewall is offset. Looks right to me. Let's try that. You can see that it's now pointing down towards the stud right there, right? That stud, that's where the brake rod hooked up to the brake pedal assembly, right? Okay. You can see it's pointing towards it. <laughs> I don't know if it's exact. So then they give you this Mickey Mouse rod, which is eons too long. I'm gonna put that in, I'll come back. I'm gonna guess it's gotta be at least four inches too long. And then you have to consider the eyelet that threads into the end of that that con connects to the brake rod or the stud on the brake pedal there. Okay, it's gotta connect to that. So that's another length. So this has got to be probably cut in half. I'm guessing I'm going to mark it. Uh, on the other end, that's the best you can do because the, the, that, that tubular nut, hex nut, tubular hex nut has to connect the booster to the rod. And I've got half of the tubular nut on the booster rod stud and I've got half of it on this Mickey Mouse rod. So that's, you can't do anything more with that. Uh, that's where it has to go. And then adjusting that length, <laughs> oh man. I guess you really don't have to do that because you have the this end where the eyelet is and you can adjust that. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so. I've got to mark that and cut it down. So I'm going to do that now. I'll come back. All right, so this is how I pulled it out. This thing came loose. I didn't have that tight enough. This came loose. But I pulled, this is how I pulled it out after you saw it in the car, okay? I marked it. Now, I, I made a mistake. When I marked it the first time here, the pedal was... The, the, since the pedal is not hooked to the brake rod, it just relaxes down towards the firewall. And I, when I made the first mark, I didn't think of that. And then I realized, oh, wait a minute. I have to pull the pedal back up in its normal um, position when it's not being depressed, when it's hooked up to everything and it's, it's up position. So that's here. So this is a false mark. This is where it would be when it's in its up position. So um, this is all the way in. Um, this tubular hex nut uh, is 50% onto here and 50% onto there. There's nothing you can do with that. However, to shorten this rod, you can shorten this stud. This stud can be shortened. Um, that would help to shorten the rod. It doesn't have to be this long. This one could be shortened too, but I'm not going to mess with that. That's on the booster. I'm not messing with that. Um, and I liked the, 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 the direction of the stud was right. I liked it. It was right in the 
pretty much a perfect spot. So I got that all dialed in. Now I've got to work out a bunch of this stuff. I'm going to put washers under here. I decided I'm going to put washers in here. You can already see that one of the spacers is starting to go down over the shoulder where this one's not, which is then making these at different heights. It's not very much, but so I'm going to do that. And I got to tighten these back up. That was that one I was messing with. That one I was messing with that I that I couldn't tighten. It wants to really move when I tighten it. Should be one and a half. It's almost two. See, it's not right. I'll worry about that later. So, what to do first? Let me get this off of here. And let me work out these brackets. Sorry, hope that didn't hurt too much. So I wanna put washers under here. All right, I got some 5 16 washers. These are bigger than that, really. The ones I've been using, these are quarter 20 washers, but they fit over the 5 16 bolt. So everything's metric. You know, you buy this crap from the store and they tell you it's SAE and it's not. Anyway, um, let's try that. Loosen this up. Put a washer under there. Oh, I should have got some more nuts. I have some in the car, All right? Okay. Take this, this won't come off now. It's, it's stuck on there. There we go. Put a washer down. Okay, now put this on. Now put this on. That's the way it came off, right? Yes. Mr. Rebob. Fat Panda, hi kitty. Oh yeah, the, the, the washer just popped. So now let's make sure that uh, we're all the way down. This is the top. So this has got to come down, right? This has got to come down and come in. It's got to come in because it's a little wider than the firewall holes, just by a smidgen. Loctite, medium threat, medium strength, high strength. I'm going to use high strength. Let's Loctite these babies. Interesting. Look at this. This is how this works. This is open and it closes it automatically so you don't have to worry about this being open. What a brilliant design. That's awesome. See, it's closed, open, and it whistles. Okay, so back to the job at hand. Little dab will do you, right? Okay. This is a lock nut, but, you know, again, I don't want to over-tighten these. There we go. Okay. Because it's at an angle. It's stupid. Morons. Okay. Lock tight.
Okay, pretty tight. I don't want him to vibrate loose while he's driving the car. Okay, I mean, you can see I did everything I could do, right? Up, brackets down. Are we still level here? Mm, yeah, kind of. Kind of. Okay, ultimately that's gonna go like that. We could do it like this. Okay, let's do it like this. Can you guys still see? Yeah. Okay. What lock tight? Lock tight. Uh oh. Made a boo-boo. Just noticed that. Didn't put a washer. Okay. These have teeth on them too, they're lock nuts, see? They're still metric, so they're not forgiven, but they're lock nuts just the same. Yeah, that's at an angle. Didn't we move this last time? We kind of repositioned this a little bit. Okay, tight, all right, those are all tight. You saw me do it, all right? Now you can see it's pointing a little bit up, but we can move it, right? We have, the, we have some latitude here, right? Right in the middle there, all right? Perfect, and then, okay, done, all right? Look at the spacers and the washers. They're not perfect by any means, but uh, they're gonna stay. We put Loctite on everything. We did not Loctite these, we don't need to. I don't think we need to. That's what's gonna hold it to the firewall, so when we tighten it on the inside, that'll hold everything. Those will be fine. Push that down, put this back on. I like that. What an intelligent design. Now this. Okay, so with this all the way on like that, you know, with this all the way on, 50% of it is on here, 50% of it is on there. Here's the rod, so I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. Okay. I cut it, I cut the stud, right? I cut this much off, it's uh, five, I cut five eighths off because I realized that I had threaded it in here a little bit deeper than I wanted to. And so I realized I could cut more, I could still cut more off, 
but I ended up, I cut five eighths of an inch off, all right? Five eighths. So, whenever you cut, like if you cut all thread or you cut a bolt or something, you gotta put a nut on it first. Put the nut all the way down, cut it, and then you can bring the nut back up. Uh, maybe take it on, before you bring the nut back up, take a buffer and buff the tip where you cut it, and then bring the nut back up, and the nut will act like a thread chaser. So always, whenever you cut any kind of a threaded stud, bolt, all thread, put the nut on it first, right? So that's what I did with this. So then this will just go on all the way, 50%, right? It'll butt up against this stud. The brake booster stud will butt up against that stud in the, in the tubular hex nut. There it is, okay? Tighten this. Okay, that's it. Now, I know we didn't do this yet. So now this mark changed because I cut five eighths of an inch off. So this mark is now five eighths of an inch further down. Sorry, this mark is now five eighths of an inch further down because I cut five eighths of an inch off here. So here's the stud I cut off, so roughly Roughly about there, okay? So now that means, this line means that this, if I put this in right now, this hex tube will touch the stud on the brake pedal, but we don't want that. You don't want it to touch it. You want it to be back here, so then you can thread, see the eyelet? Okay, so. This screws into the end of this, right? Like that, to the, to the tubular hex nut, hex nut, right? I guess that's what they're called. Okay, so. If this, once I put this on the car, this is on the firewall, everything's bolted up. This is touching the stud on the brake pedal where this slips onto, right? It'd be like that. So then we can go back and measure. Let's take this nut off. Probably metric morons. But you don't want to cut it back here, then it's too short. So what you want to do is you want to cut it up here you want to cut it, I don't know if you can see that, right? This is where the rod is touching the stud. Now when I made the mark, I made it on the side of the stud. Not, I didn't center it. So that would probably be a little bit more forward. So instead of being here, it'd be probably like that, right? So then our original mark is closer to what I think is correct. Okay. I'm going to cut it there. I'm going to cut it right there. I'll be back. I'll be back. So, um... I didn't have any of this on camera, but I screwed up really bad. But it ended up that I had that, uh, I had to do that anyway. And what I mean is that uh, I cut this in half. This was like this, you know? And before I cut it, uh, like in the movie Tropic Thunder, 
I went full retard and I didn't look to see if the hole went all the way through the rod, which obviously it doesn't. That was a pretty dumb mistake. And uh, thinking the hole went all the way through, I'd cut it and then I'd see a hole. So I had to get my vernier calipers. So the hole, this hole, this is the one end of it, of it and this was the other end of it. So it, it went like this, right? It went like that. This hole was at one end and this stud was at the other end. And it, it would have been obvious to uh, anybody that the hole didn't go through and I didn't think about it because I went full retard. And uh, uh, the hole is that deep only and that's it. So when I cut it, it was just straight metal. You know, there was no hole here. It was just straight metal. So what I did here was, then I thought this was all solid. The hole wasn't there. I drilled that. So what I did was, is I drilled this hole and the, this is a three eighths, uh, 24, right? So I drilled the hole three eighths. Well, that was stupid because okay I totally went full retard so <clears throat> but the rod was too long no matter what no I I couldn't use it it was too long so I had to cut it anyway so but I had done that mistake right I had cut it it was like that before so what I did is I went out and I bought uh, 3 8 24 bolts by two inches long. And uh, I cut the head off of this one thinking I was gonna maybe fix this side, right? I could put it in like that, weld it, weld it in and then use this. But that, that's not gonna work because it has to have a hole on one side, a threaded hole for this to go onto the brake pedal and it has to have a stud on the other side to screw into this which then screws on to the brake booster because the brake booster also has a stud so it has to have a stud on one side and a whole threaded hole on the other side so i bought these bolts 3 8 24 bolts two inches and i welded it to the end of the hex tubular nut, tubular hex nut, whatever you want to call these things. And uh, I welded it to the end of it, All right? Came out pretty nice, straight, All right? I don't know if it's the right length. Uh, I'm, I'll find out, but I, it was close to the measurements I made. So I'm gonna put it in now and find out. And uh, this should be okay. Uh, I'll put the brake booster in and then I'll put the rod in, right? This is how it's going to look installed. And of course, these are the nuts to tighten it up, <clears throat> right? Once you get this set, you tighten the nut, you put the nut next to it and then tighten it to keep it in place. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put the booster back in, then I'll put this back in, adjust it. Hopefully it fits. And then... Uh, one last thing, right? La, 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 la. Oh, hello. I know, right? <sighs> you forgot to comment, subscribe, and like. Or do it now or else. La, 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 la. Shut up!